So you have an iPhone and you have a smartphone microscope. The problem you're going to run into is, number one, which of these cameras are you supposed to use your smartphone microscope on? Well, this is pretty straightforward. You want to use the back telephoto camera on here. But the bigger problem is that even if you, if you do this correctly, we'll set it up like normal, center it looking back through the lens there, just have the regular camera app open here. Normally, the way that this works on most smartphone microscopes, if it just has one camera, is you pinch to zoom and it just works. Oh, and it actually does seem to, okay, so there's the problem. You saw that it showed up there for a second and then it kind of went away. So I think what the iPhone is doing here in the issue is that basically the reason there are three cameras is because it has a regular zoom camera, it has a telephoto one and then an ultra wide, wide version here. And normally it just switches between them based on how much pinch to zooming you're kind of doing here. This is an iPhone 11 Pro, and I'm not sure exactly if this has it or not, but some of these multi-camera phones have what's called a time of flight sensor. Basically, uh, it's a little hole in the device and it shoots a ray of light. It bounces off of whatever you're pointing the camera at and it comes back and the phone basically calculates how long it took for that beam of light to come back to it. And it uses that to figure out what the distance is. And so then it can know what focus to be at and what camera to be using. But of course, the issue is that if you have a smartphone microscope over your camera in particular, it usually will block that time of flight sensor. It just kind of wigs out and everything sort of messes up. So the way to, to, way to get your iPhone to work properly is that we recommend downloading the Yamra app. I'll link that in the description. And this gives you a bunch of, of manual control over your iPhone. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is it, it'll give you the option here to choose which camera that you want. So we're gonna go ahead and set it to back telephoto lens. And then uh, over here is we'll have the little focus, little focus place. You wanna set it, it'll usually be on auto, so this way it knows uh, where to be auto focusing the lens, but you don't actually want that. You want it to set it to locked so that you can manually control the focus there. Let me get this on here and I'll show you how that works. By the way, this is the Micro Safari mobile microscope, but this should really work for any, any smartphone microscope and any multi camera smartphone that you're using. So you're, and then that's pretty much it. You can, here's a little ballpoint pen, little pencil. And then if I was just setting this on the surface, I would have the ability to use that manual focus to be able to get a little bit more precision there, but I'm like holding the thing with my other hand, so I don't wanna do that. But yeah, you can see all these things here. Here's my fingerprint. All right, and that's it.